This is one of my reading club books, Shade the Changing Girl. This is Young Animal, so it's uh, that uh, that line that uh, the My Chemical Romance guy does. And I don't even know what he does with this line for real. He just writes a foreword for these, I guess. It's weird. Um, so this is like a bright, like, sort of indie-ish comic. They're trying to go weird. And I haven't read Shade the Changing Man. I guess there was the Steve Ditko one and then I guess Mil Peter Milligan. But basically, like, this girl, I guess Shade, can travel across the universe and inhabit somebody's body. And it's written by Cecil Castelluki or something like that. So she inhabits this teenage girl. And uh, you get this, like, it's like a cross between, like, Mike Allred and, like, King of the Hill, I think, art-wise. And it, it just doesn't, it doesn't have the flair of Mike Allred. It's got very flat colors to it. Um, this group's trying to hunt down shade from, from these aliens. And, and, you know, you got some interesting designs and things like that. And she's trying to, like... Uh, live a high school life and since she's inhabiting this girl's body she doesn't have the memories anymore she doesn't remember her boyfriend she doesn't remember what happened she was on a synchronized swimming team she almost died um and i i just think all the the art looks a little wonky you see you see how it's kind of stilted and stiff and has a, like i don't know i didn't like the art uh you know i really do like some indie art like this like in that in, in colorful stuff i like mike allred quite a bit and this was trying to be that. It just didn't work, I don't think. I think it just didn't look good. <laughs> um, and that's all there is to this story. Um, and so this is a six-issue miniseries. You got the cool setup with the aliens, and then she's trying to discover her life, and she's trying to, like, figure out what's going on. These aliens are trying to find her. Uh, she's trying to, like, fit in in high school. And at the end of it, like, four or five issues in, like, the girl who, like originally owned the body came back and like tried to take the body back from her and she kind of forced that girl body out into oblivion as she deal as these like aliens kind of find out she's where she's finally at um and there's a bunch of high school drama with the boys and the and the synchronized swimming girls and all that and uh and she's trying to make friends and she realized that like her original self was like just a huge asshole and uh that's it. Like, this was the most decompressed, slow story where nothing happened <laughs> I've maybe ever read. Uh, it's really bizarre. <laughs> and um, it's also really bizarre. Like, maybe Shade the Changing Man is a hero. I don't know, you know. But she stole somebody's body, and then the lady was coming back, and then, like, she didn't let her have her body back. And then, like, they kind of, like, applaud there. So I guess, like it's okay to steal somebody's body is the, uh, is the moral of the story. It was very, very weird. And that's all that happens. <laughs> so, uh, I hated it. I hated the art. Uh, I think the flat colors look terrible on the art and just accented the bad parts of the art. Uh, they tried to, they tried to mask it with bright colors to change that, but it, it really didn't work very well. And, uh, the storyline was just so slow, like, and nothing happened. So, Five out of ten, and uh, seven's kind of my average, so this is really on the low scale for me. Uh, really rough stuff. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment down below. We'll be back soon.